I was born by the river in a little tent. Oh, and just like the river I've been running. There are so many things that our kids have to overcome just to get to us by 7.45 every morning that the fact that we have kids that are getting almost full rides to college for academic scholarships is unbelievable. Voice Academy has a spirit of, I can do, I can make it, college is possible. To the people that have given up on communities like this, I would say come to Voice and see what, what we have here. Because we understand what goes on in the neighborhood. We understand where our students are coming from. And every one of our students could give you a story that would make you cry. But we have a mantra around here that we won't give you pity, we will understand. But the only way to get past everything else that's going on is to be successful here and get to college and be successful in life. It's kind of hard trying to be me focused on history. People sacrificing me to be where I'm supposed to be. Learning Blended learning, learning is the combination of using online curriculum with teacher-led instruction. So you're not losing the quality teacher in the classroom, but you're using the best online tools. Teachers don't have to spend as much time creating content because content is there. So they are able to use the online curriculum and be more like a coach and a guide instead of having to, to create the content, lead the content. Students can then move at their own pace, or you can have some teacher-led instruction where they're doing small group work and they're working together. Make peace to release peace. Unload, don't fold when you feel heat. Take notes, just coast on the right goal. We got Dr. King's dream, don't let it go. And as you're reading, what I want you guys to do is tweet and describe the image that most people had of Chicago in the late 1800s. <laughs> Voice is a place where you can succeed no matter what your circumstance is. Then all of us on the chorus. Find the reason why. Remember, estamos estudiando cuatro partes del cuerpo. So here are the hashtags as you go through it. <laughs> Laptops open. Voice Academy is an acronym for Virtual Opportunities Inside a School Environment. And what that means is that we are a one-to-one -one laptop school, all our curriculum is online, and teachers are able to work closely with students as they work independently. We're not an online school. Kids are coming to school every day. They pick up their laptops, they go to class to class, but the laptop is just the tool. It's the people behind the tool that make it come to light. And all the ladies on the bridge again. Then the second chorus. Who's going to kind of take the ad libs? Teachers here know that when they build their content, they have an initial idea of what they're going to teach throughout the year, but that's just the beginning phase. It is constantly changing because the information is changing so quickly. At the last minute, a teacher might say, oh, well, let's watch this video, or let's add this content, or let's discuss this instead of just pulling something out of a textbook. And that gives our, our teachers an advantage so that they feel like it's more of their content. They have more advocacy into what they're teaching, and they believe in it. And when teachers believe in what they teach, the students believe in what they learn. Okay, so you're saying X was bigger number, number of squares was Y. So before you take the quiz, I want you to work on this worksheet. What do you want? Profit for 200. Profit for 200. Okay, a little louder. Largo, largo. We have to think about where our kids are coming from today. On the way to school, they will watch a video, they will send 15 texts, they'll send an email, they'll talk on the phone, they'll play a game, all on the way to school. Then we get to school and the buildings are old, typically, and the curriculum is old, and it's not how they learn. Do the coding one time, and all the pages are laid out the same way, so the website will look more uniform, okay? All right, so what I want you guys to do, use Twitter as a means of communicating the key details, and we'll post it on the board. Computers and technology brings to life what I'm learning so much more than a textbook. It gives you a deeper understanding of what you're reading. The quality of education is way better because of the technology that we use. We could use videos, we could use PowerPoints, we could use different animations. 
A cell is the smallest unit of life. And those appeal to those students who don't necessarily learn just by reading books. Having access to computers and providing our instruction via the laptop, teachers are able to customize these online flexbooks. You basically just hit the edit button, it comes up into an edit screen, and you can modify the level of the text the students are seeing. So if you have lower readers, you can modify the Lexile level so that they'll have a better access point. You can also include higher level vocabulary for your higher level or higher achieving students. You can embed videos. You can also embed photos, things to just kind of enrich the text that's in there and make it a little more engaging. So the options are endless. Students are almost being born today, being able to use a phone, being able to use a tablet. And to take those things away, it would almost cause a huge void between inside the classroom and outside the classroom. It's like two different worlds, and it shouldn't be. The college banners are actually up because our principal wants everyone to be accepted to at least one college before graduation from voice. So all of the college banners are up to show students that there are a lot of options out there. I know with my parents' financial situation that they can't really afford college and I know by me staying on my grades and playing ball that I can have a chance to do something positive and great with my life. A lot of schools really say that they really like how high my GPA is. And Voice has helped me with my GPA, and my GPA has helped me get recruited by a lot of football schools like Yale, Harvard, Princeton, Brown, Purdue. I'm Dedrick, and I'm going to Robert Morris University. My name is Shannon, and I'll be going to River Wright College. Jamal, Harold Washington College. Evangene Malcolm X. Lamarcus, Northern Illinois University. Shalanza, Lincoln University. Hello, my name is Eugenia Thorpe, and I'm going to Wilbur Wright College. Our graduates last year, when they walked across that stage, they said we didn't ever think we could do this. Everybody told us we weren't going to do this. They told us over and over again, even when we were in elementary school, they said, you're never going to make it. And when they walked across that stage, we saw their hearts just sell. That's the spirit of voice, to see a kid who never thought they could make it, make it. My name is Jose Suarez, and I'll be attending Trident College. My name is Kay, I'm going to Northeastern. Uh, my name is Jelan, I'll be attending Lewiston University. The data that we're starting to produce now is showing how great our students are achieving. We've seen 1.5 years of growth in reading. We've seen you know, our students make a 1.2 gain on the ACT in one year. Our graduation rate over 80%. So those data points show that what we're doing is working. A big part of what makes the balance between the human interaction and the technology successful is that we're a school that looks at the whole student. We provide every student with a completely individualized learning experience. We believe in, in the model we're using. We also believe in our kids, and we also believe in each other. And I think that's why we have the success we do. These kids are completely turning their lives around, and we know it's because of the opportunities that they've received at Voice. Mm -hmm.